Star Chronicles. I do not own the rights to this music. How y'all doing? Well, this is a weekend inspiration. You want to come out with a little something to share with y'all? Oh, no, we're not doing this today. No, thank you. Hey man, I wanted to go out this way. I'm just, look at the freeway. This, I'm gonna tell you, Washington is like California. It's just horrible. Look at the traffic. Anyway, look at this traffic, y'all. Man. Hey, it's Car Chronicles. I do not own the rights to this music by Lecrae. This is his older album before he kind of switched over, you know. But we're going to leave that alone today. Praise the Lord. God is good. So, um, I was talking last night about fear. Look, I didn't post it yet. I'm going to post them back to back because it was late when I did it last night. But praise God, I'm going to post it first and I'm going to post this one. But listen, how y'all feeling? Where's your faith at? Where's your faith at? Where's your faith at today, man? Look, because there's so many of us out here looking at what the world is doing, listening to what the news is saying, listening to what our friends and family is saying, afraid to walk around without a mask on. Come on now. Where's our faith at, y'all? Listen. I want to encourage people because right now, so much fear. Look at the sky. You guys can see the sky out here. Look at it. It looks like it's fog. Look at it. It's thick. Like, this is all from ashes from fires. This is smoke and smog from fires that people have been lighting all over. Oregon, California, even in Washington where I'm at. Sad thing about it is, people are not talking about it like it's a serious spiritual warfare going on in this world like yes people are doing these things they're catching these fires but people are not the reason why this is happening but it's the spirits behind the work of all of this and so many people want to be fearful they walk around in fear this is what i was talking about last night fear will cripple a person and it will kill you fear People have fear all the time. They walk in fear and they're afraid. They don't even realize what they're afraid of. What are they fearful for? So, I just wanted to come on here and share with y'all. There's too much stuff going on in this world right now, man. For us to be focusing on all this fear driven, uh, you know what I'm saying, social networks, fear driven television. It's all propaganda pushed by the higher ups that are following the devil. Y'all don't want to hear this, but this is the truth. And honestly, a lot of people don't even realize that they're serving the devil. They think that they're serving themselves. Well, that's what Luciferians believe. That they are like basically God. They have no one they have to surrender to. They have no one that they have to be accountable to. They have no one that has they don't have to follow no rules. It's, that's what the Luciferians believe in. So in the in this sense, um, this is what the devil wanted in the beginning. He wanted to be God. He wanted to be followed. He wanted to be worshipped. He was jealous. If you really think about what he was doing. He wanted to have power like God. Yeah. So that's what the Luciferians will tell you. They don't find themselves to be devil worshippers, quote unquote. They worship themselves, man. In that, they're worshiping the devil. Now they're, you know what I'm saying, it's crazy that people don't realize by us watching, you know, watching all this television, listening to everything these news reporters say and the politicians say, we're following man for all these things, but are we following and hearing from God? The one who created the heavens and the earth, good God Almighty, our Father who art in heaven. So, I'm going to just tell y'all the truth. A lot of people don't follow God. And they think they do. But they're not. They're not. I thought the light was going to turn green. but okay. They're not following God. So who is it that you're following today? 
Who is it that y'all are following today? Are you going to believe your flesh when it tells you to close your windows and close your doors and put on your mask? And don't talk to your neighbors and don't go anywhere six feet close to somebody. You got to be spread apart. Are you going to listen to all these fear tactics? Because that's what it is, y'all. It's fear. And people are following it because they don't know who to truly follow. And that's God. Listen, if tomorrow was judgment day, do you really think people would care about these masks? Do you really think that people would be tripping about six feet distancing? No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. I'll tell you right now, they would not be tripping. It's what? It's 59 degrees right now out here. And it's been 70s and 80s. And now all of a sudden with this, this fires and stuff, now the, the weather's all cold. Tell you they manipulate the weather too. Y'all don't want to believe it. Y'all better look up what harp is. H double A R P harp. Y'all better look into some of this stuff and quit being blinded by the lies that the masses are following, man. Wake up, open up your eyes, do some research for yourself. Ask God to reveal these things to you because a lot of the things that we are, have endured in life, we were never told or exposed to. You know, people will call us a conspiracy theorist and all this other crap. The truth is, y'all are being just following the blind, leading the blind. And the rest of us who understand what's really going on, you call us conspiracy theorists. But the truth is, we know what's going on. We have eyes to see. And it, we've been, look, the truth has been revealed to us. The stuff that they're doing in this world is really sick. It's really perverted. And if we really have the time to go over all this, which I don't, I just wanted to share with y'all this real quick. No matter what they do in this world, no matter what kind of pollutants they put out, no matter how many different things that they're trying to do in this world, God is still God. And if you follow him and if you know him, and Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you have nothing to fear. Because in the end, God has the final say. He has the final say. So let's not be afraid of it. what happens in the day, it happens at night. What happens because it's going to keep on happening. It's going to happen over and over again. This is through history. We're going to see a lot of this sick, twisted stuff go on. And it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop just because, you know what I'm saying, people... Uh, you know, wanting to stop or ask for it to stop. No, it's supposed to happen. These all things are inevitable. Everything that we're going through is a part of what God already knew to happen, already knew would take place, already knew before the foundations of the earth. God already knew all this. So I hope y'all are encouraged today because uh, even though people are, uh, you know, caught up with fear. And the spirit of fear is trying to grasp and tangle others. We have victory in Christ Jesus. We've already overcome in Christ Jesus. Look, we've already have the, we've already won. And remember that this is not our war, but it's the Lord's. Okay? It is the Lord's. So please be encouraged and know this. Greater is he who is in you and me than he who is in the world. Okay? We have no reason to be afraid. No reason to fear. Because God be with us. What can be against us? God bless y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. This is the Car Chronicles. Another Car Chronicles. And I just wanted to remind you guys that faith trumps fear every day. Faith overcomes fear, overcomes sickness, disease, worry, anxiousness. Faith overcomes hatred. Faith overcomes every type of racism. I'm talking about faith in love. Overcomes every type of obstacle that we can go through in life. As long as you have love and faith, you're good. And of course, you got to have the faith in Jesus Christ. Let me not forget that. Oh, Lord, let me not forget that. If it was not for Jesus, we would not be here today. So be encouraged, y'all. And know that at the end of all this, when everything is said and done, 
I pray that you and I will all hear, good job, my good and faithful servant, well done, well done, well done son, well done daughter, well done, welcome home. Anyways, that's my thing. Look, it's the weekend inspiration. Do not be fearful. Go outside. Get some fresh air. Do your push-ups, your sit-ups, whatever you're going to do. Get your meal prep together for the week because it's the weekend, okay? Now you got this weekend. Let's get the meal prep together. Let's get all our stuff that we need, the healthy foods that we need. Let's get it all prepared and ready to eat for this next week. Oh man, I just missed the farmer's market. Dang it. Anyway, God bless y'all. It's another another car chronicles, a weekend inspirations. Listen. Do not fall into the temptation of the enemy. Do not fall into the lies of the devil. Okay? Do not give yourself to somebody. I'm talking about sexually. Do not waste your time having sex outside of marriage because all it's gonna do is hurt you and misplace a whole bunch of feelings. Possibly can catch STDs, diseases, and have pregnancies outside of wedlock. And I'm going to tell you from experience, single parenting is not fun. It is not easy. Please wait for God. Y'all who are anxious about getting a new job, moving to a new place, having newness in your life, seek the Lord, pray. You need to really get into fasting and some time alone with God to hear from God clearly before you move. Another thing, y'all, remember... If you're sad or depressed or you're feeling like nobody's there, nobody loves you, nobody wants you, that's a lie, okay? That's a lie. That is a lie from the pits of hell. God loves you. I love you. You have many people in this world that's praying and loves you too. May not ever met you in their life, but they love you because the love of Christ is in them. And I know it sounds cliche, and you might be like, well, I don't know these people. They're not here to help me and blah, blah, blah. Why don't you ask God to bring some people into your life? Who will be there, who will endure with you the test of time. Not come and go. So, God bless you. Be encouraged. Remember, choose this day whom you will serve. Okay? Choose this day whom you will serve. Tomorrow is not promised to you, I, or anybody else. God bless you. Jesus is going to return soon, y'all. I pray that you know him. I pray that you repent before he returns and that you have a relationship with the living God. So until next time, be encouraged. Pray for me as I pray for you. And let's not forget to love each other. All right? This is the Car Chronicles. This is the Car Chronicles. And I'm out.